So imagine um, representing yourself as a buyer without a buyer's agent. In addition to your full-time job, being a parent, life. You know, you're hiring an agent because this is our job. This is what we do. And, you know, my con my concern is, is that the buyers and sellers are going to think that they, they could move forward without being represented, and they can. You could put your house on the market, put a for sale by owner sign in front of it, and, um, you know, nationally, I'm going to talk a little bit about being a for sale by owner. Nationally, for sale by owners get 12% lower than what they can get if they listed with a real estate agent. So I'm not saying that there haven't been um, successful transactions if you uh, decide to buy and sell on your own. But when you're working with a licensed real estate agent that um, that knows this business, that has, has a proven track record, um, it's important to know that there are, you know, there are some things that you may miss if you're representing yourself. So let's break this down a little bit. So if you're a seller and you're going to list your home as a for sale by owner, you could put a sign out there and you're going to get an offer. You made it, you might even get two offers. Um, but when you're working with a licensed real estate agent, we're going to try and get you more than two offers. We're going to get your house in front of thousands and thousands of people. We're just not going to put it on Zillow or, or realtor.com. It's going to go everywhere. Um, but you know, you could save, you think you're saving, um, the commission. And that's why people do it. They do it because they think they're saving the commission. Sellers think they're saving commission by selling their house on their own. And in reality, they're not because on average, uh, for sale by owners leave about 12% on the table. They could sell their home for 12% more. I, I know I have helped buyers with for sale by owners where homes were underpriced and um, inspection issues were, you know, we won't even go into it, but I, my buyers, my buyers got a deal because that for sale by owner did not price their house right. So I want you to think about that. Also, the other really important things like, you know, are you getting qualified buyers into your house? Who's coming into your house? Who's going to run the open house? Who's going to negotiate on your behalf? who's gonna negotiate the inspection issues on your behalf. So there are so many reasons why hiring um, a realtor to help sell your house is going to put more money in your pocket. Second thing, as a buyer, um, and if you're, if you don't, see, this is what makes me nervous with all of this that's going on. A buyer's like, well, I'm not paying an agent, so I'm gonna, I'm going to represent myself. I'm not going to pay an agent. I'm going to represent myself or I'm going to go directly to the listing agent. Now that listing agent has a fiduciary responsibility to the seller. Um, they're working with the seller. I'm not saying you won't be represented, but if you, I'm just going to leave that there. Um, but I want you to know that if you're working with a buyer's agent, we, there, there's like 90 steps that we do, but then there's so many more. We take phone calls from our buyers. If there's, you know, we're like licensed therapists. We help them um, with vendors and contractors. And, and there's so many things that we do. And I, I just want you to know that as a buyer, when you hire a buyer's agent, interview your agents, interview multiple agents. If you get that, if you see somebody has a proven track record, if you get that good feeling that you the, the agent that you're talking to is trustworthy and you feel that you could work with them and they hear you, they understand you, they know what you want and they're just not sending you listings. They know what you're looking for. They know the areas, the towns. They can send you information on all of that. Um, hire, hire a good buyer's agent that's going to represent you. So I just... Uh, what I what I don't want is I don't want 
the buyers or the sellers to be scared or nervous. So let's talk about the buyers and how this is going to affect the buyers. First of all, I had, I had mentioned before a buyer's agreement. Uh, we're not going to be able to take out a buyer unless an agreement is signed. And on that agreement, um, a commission has to be negotiated because if you hire a buyer's agent, um, when you hire a buyer's agent and you see a property and there's no co-broke on it, your agent has to get paid. So, so you're agreeing to pay their commission and that amount is negotiated. Um, but the two big groups that this change is going to affect um, are the first time home buyers and the VA buyers. And if you are one or the other, uh, you can call your lender and find out more about that. I can touch on um, both just a little bit because um, I'm not a lender, but I do, I do know, um, I do know, you know, quite a bit. I've been in this business for a while, but I don't want to, I'm, I'm going to stay in my lane, but just kind of a broad stroke, uh, first time home buyers, um, if you're looking at a property that doesn't have a co-broke and you've agreed to pay your agent um, the commission that you negotiated with your agent, that's an additional amount that you have to come to the table with. So you're looking at a $400,000 home. You saved up for years that 15, 20%. And let's say that it's a very competitive market, which it is in, in Northern New Jersey. And you, um, your offer was two or 3% over the, the list price. Um, now you have to come with an additional percentage to pay your agent. And that's hard for first time loan buyers. It's hard. So, um, you know, think about that. There may be a workaround. I don't know um, if there's going to be or not. Um, if you need the name of lenders, give me a call. I have, um, I have several that are just phenomenal. Um, and then VA buyers. So this is the group that is affected um, the most. And our VA buyers, they, um, our VA buyers are like our heart and soul. We love our VA buyers. They have um, given up their time, their lives, they're spending time with their families to protect us. So this is the group that's being most adversely affected. So a VA buyer, a VA loan is typically 0% down. That's the benefit, that's a VA benefit. But one of the things that it says when you're a VA buyer is that you can't roll your buyer's agent's commission into the contract. Now, I've never had a VA buyer ask me to do that, but I do believe in other parts of the country. Um, you know, but I, I can't really speak to that. But so our VA buyer, 0% down, most of them. And um, and it's they're using that benefit because it's, it's a benefit. And, um, you know, are they going to be able to come to the table with that commission that you negotiated, you know, and that's tough. That's tough. So I'm hoping, I'm very hopeful that there's going to be something in there for first time home buyers and VA buyers in the next couple of months. We have a couple of months till July 1st to really shake this out, to figure out the different, um, things that don't really make sense because there's some things that don't make sense. And so I'm here to try and help you make sense. My job is to help my clients navigate through these changes. And I, I'm not afraid. I kind of thrive on change. Um, change is constant. There's nothing we can do about it. We just got to go with it, pivot, move, react, adjust, change our course, do whatever we have to do for our clients. And that's that's my commitment to you or and to, to all of my past clients and my clients for life. Um, so 
so I, I want you to call me if you have any questions. If I'm not your real estate agent, it doesn't matter. Call me. I'm, I want to be able to help you. The more I talk about this, the more I help, I feel like the better I am going to be at explaining this and kind of breaking it down. I might be a little long winded and I apologize, but there are so many things going on. I just, I want to make sure that I impress upon you as um, a potential future client or a friend or a family member or somebody that's just curious that if there's any questions or concerns or just, just call me. And if I don't have the answers to your questions or concerns, I promise you, I will find those answers for you. Um, so I, again, um, don't be scared. Don't be afraid. Don't worry about the change. We got you. I got you. And my team has you. And we are all, we are here ready to help and serve you. Have a wonderful day. And I do hope that we get to talk soon. Bye.